So in this video, I just want to go over some guidance for teachers and technicians who might be using lasers as they're looking at the wavelength of light, perhaps using a double slit or using a diffraction grating. Now, first of all, uh, the laser that I've used in the video is this one over here. And if you look at the CLEEPS guidance, it does recommend going to a reputable supplier rather than just buying something off eBay or something like that. Now, this one has a couple of features which make it ideal. First of all, it's got a nice secure base. It's got a cap over the end, and there's also a key to turn it on and off. So this one over here is less than one milliwatt. Now you can buy other lasers. Uh, sometimes they come in different colors. So I've got a green one over here and I've also got a purple, but these were just bought off Amazon. And although it does say less than one milliwatt on the power output here, you can't always trust these stickers. Now, if you are using one of these, uh, and again, another issue is that when you press the button and then you take it off, the laser goes out. So you can set up your equipment like this, where you just have the clamp. And as you tighten it over the button, that not only holds this secure, but also means that the laser light stays on. So that's something that you can use if you've got one of these more basic laser pointers. I would say, however, that because we're using colored light, if a student does see a bright flash in their eye, automatically they're going to blink and they're gonna turn away from it. So that means your blink response should protect you or your students from any kind of serious injury. And also, if you're making sure that it's trained onto a um, matte surface, so maybe a piece of paper or the wall of your classroom, we're going to avoid these specular reflections which can reflect into a student's eye. So that's just a little bit about laser safety. Something else I found useful for this experiment was when I had my slide holder uh, with a diffraction grating or the double slit, I found that it goes really nicely into this small Lascelles holder and that means it's really easy to place that on the desk or on a stand and also this set square um, although it comes in inches rather than centimeters it's massive it's bright yellow and it came from a local DIY store and this just means that you can easily line things up so that things are in line with the desk so everything's pointing in the right direction this one also has the advantage, if you're doing other experiments, that it stands vertically on the desk so you can measure or make sure that things are actually vertical. And finally, the last thing that you can use for this practical is magic smoke in a can. If you spray this over the laser light, you not only see the straight beam coming out of the laser, but you can also see the interference pattern from that diffraction grating. So you don't just see the bright spots on the screen, but you actually see how the light is traveling to the screen in the first place. Hopefully that's going to help you prepare as you carry out this practical with your class. If you want to find more teacher and technician notes, I do have those on my worksheets that you can download. And if there's anything that you're unsure about, do have a look at the CLEEPS website.